Welcome to It's the Economy. Despite the festive occasion, uh, greetings to everyone for Raksha Bandhan. Uh, I'm going to strike a slightly somber note, and that's because of the 33% deficit in August Rain. I mean, it's something like a 50-year record. Uh, this has made food inflation now a very real danger. Already, the food July food inflation, uh, even before the August deficit, that is, the inflation was at a high 11.5%, and cereals were uh, uh, inflating at 13%. Now it appears that food inflation won't recede even though tomatoes prices have declined. The government has moved to curb even basmati rice exports uh, to below uh, exports below dollar uh, $1,200 per ton won't be allowed. It has imposed a duty of 20% on parboiled rice. And as we know, non-basmati white rice exports were already banned. But uh, is all this enough to bring down food inflation? How's the cereal supplies situation with this kind of a deficit in the monsoon, sir? And of course, how will food prices pan out later on in the year? Joining me to discuss these are Harish Damodaran, agriculture editor at the Indian Express, sir, uh, the undoubted expert on food prices and food situation, and Vijay Sethi, our former president, All India Rice Exporters Association. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Mr. Sethi, first to you, what are you getting about uh, uh, the quantum of the rice crop uh, for this Kharif after this deficit in the August rains? You see the area under sowing is higher by 4%. And uh, in certain pockets like Punjab, Haryana and UP, uh, the rains have definitely benefited the, the crop which is not affected by the floods. So by and large, crop will be normal. And uh, despite the deficit, Farmers are working hard. They are taking water from the ground and they are still managing their crops in all the states. Even in Karnataka, where rain is deficient, farmers are managing their crop. Definitely, there will be some effect, but by and large, we will get a good crop and the situation mm. will improve in the coming months. There will no okay. worry, I think, as production level of Indian rice is concerned. Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Harish, uh, Harish, your thoughts on uh, uh, this kind of a deficit, 33%. Now, the overall uh, annual deficit uh, uh, year to date is, I think, uh, uh, deficit is 9%. Uh, the IMD told us it is 91% if you take June, July, August. Uh, maybe a little more deficit in September, so we may end up at 90%. What does this do to cereals uh, output? I agree with uh, with uh, Vijayji about uh, I think I think the rice is okay in in Punjab, Haryana, and and Western UP, etc. Uh, though though you had some excess rains, etc. But but on the balance, I think uh, the rice Harish, should Harish, be fine. Harish, in... Harish, Harish, yeah. Shema, if I may interrupt, uh, let us also run the deficit in the eastern regions in terms of uh, yeah, yeah, water yeah, yeah, as yeah, well. I'm coming to that. There is a deficit in the east and there is a deficit in the south, both in yeah. monsoons and in water reservoir levels. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So I think that, you know, September rains are required for definitely the crop, even in places like Odisha and Chhattisgarh, etc. You know, so overall, definitely, I think rice production is going to be lower than last year. Maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 percent or something, you know. But on the whole, I think Kharif is not going to be as bad as I'm more... Uh, concerned about what is going to happen to the rabi you know in 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 kharif ideally you should grow your entire crop using rainwater okay and uh, and and whereas whereas uh, if you have a poor monsoon then farmers have to use groundwater even during kharif okay so because of that there is not enough reserves left for the for the rabi crop and rabi crop is very crucial because, uh, you know, a lot of rice is actually grown even during the rabi season, you know, like in West uh. Bengal, in, in Assam, in Odisha, etc. You know, you have the rabi rice. Uh, Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu, very important uh, uh, crop is is the, is the rabi rice, you know. Even Telangana, a very large area is actually grown under rabi rice. So apart even Punjab, from rice, I would assume? Have... Punjab as well? No, Punjab doesn't grow any 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 rice during the during the rabi season. But okay. so in rabi you have rice, you have maize, maize which is grown in Bihar. Okay, then then you have mustard, you have chana, you have masoor, then you have potato, you have onion, you have okay. garlic, then you have all these seed spices. You know your your uh, jeera, your uh, coriander, uh, somf. Everything is grown during rabi. You know, actually we underestimate we. 
I, I think we probably give too much of uh, this thing on Kharif, you know. Whereas mm. actually, it is Ravi, which is which is which is a very important. Uh, uh, okay. uh, uh, crop. Got so that. I think in Kharif we will somehow scrape through, you know, and maybe okay. even in rice, maybe you know, ten percent shortfall. Yeah, so okay. I would be more let, concerned. Let, with... let, yeah, let me ask Mr. Setia the same question then, uh, uh, Harish. Uh, Mr. Setia, what's your sense? Uh, as Harish is pointing out, there is a. Uh, uh, a set of uh, states which grow rice even uh, in the rabi season. Uh, overall, if you have to look at the 23-24 rice output, are we in for uh, you know a, a reasonable deficit? How much? You see, ma'am, uh, I am very clear that uh, for this grief, rice production is going to be almost same like last year because 4% extra area is under cultivation. High yielding varieties, good quality seed and farmers' effort is there. So for Kharif, we are okay. Then the next crop, what Mr. Harish has pointed, we are talking about something of future. So yeah. we cannot say that uh, the uh, another three, four months, the problem will increase in uh, southern India. Let's pray and uh, let's hope the things no, will be the, fine. And, uh, no, Harish is... Uh, Mr. Setia, we Mr. Setia, never, Setia Harish, uh, Harish is referring to the... So one minute, sir. Harish is referring to the water reservoir levels. And I am running that data, which I have picked up from his article in the Indian Express. Water reservoir levels are lower both for all India. Uh, as you can see right now flashing, uh, the 10-year average should be uh, 35 billion cubic meters. And what we have now is 26.9 uh, billion cubic meters. So that's a substantial fall. You know, it's about a 25%, 30% uh, uh, lower reservoir level, uh, uh, you know, uh, for all true. India, in, and it is fairly serious in the south and uh, east. Those numbers will also come up. Go ahead, I, sir. I do agree what Mr. Rishi said. But one thing is, we never consume an entire water. That is our reserve. Okay. Some water okay. is used, some for drinking, some for agriculture. So we will go, go, go through the next crop season uh, with some hardships, but uh, there will not be a big uh, crop loss in the coming period also. That is my assumption, and maybe what? Mr. Harish will uh, relook everything. Everything. How much? So, what is your guess on rice prices? In... Okay. What, for rice what prices... is your guess of rice prices for the remaining part of 2023 and early 24? Say up until March. Okay. So you see, the government concern is inflation. Okay. Yes. Basmati does not uh, affect Indian uh, inflation because it is just five percent of the total crop. Then comes the non-Basmati rice, which is the concerned area. You see one thing which is missing in the government current controls. They have allowed non-Basmati parboiled rice, which is selling at 350 to 400 with 20% duty. That means at the end, we exporters are, we can export at 480, $500 uh, non-Basmati rice, which is a mean for common man in India, for poor public, they afford rice of 30 rupees, 35 rupees. Basmati prices, they last year average is 1000. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, it was 800, 900. We have exported at 1400 also. Mm -hmm. But the new crop is coming. 1509 is more than 40% of the total okay. sowing. So that variety does not go beyond 850 to $900. On one hand, we are allowed export of non-Basmati at 500, which will affect our inflation, which, okay. which can Got affect it. our domestic supply. Uh, all the countries are demanding from government of India. India has already released rice for Nepal, already released for Bhutan, Bhutan. and uh, Mauritius. Other countries are in queue. So there will be more pressure on non-Basmati. Government should control. They should come up with some MEP for non-Basmati. So okay. that it should not go at a cheaper price, the way it is going. I, and it will that, affect sir. Indian markets. For I Basmati, that, Probably, I have to say, yeah. the farmers, farmers in Punjab, Haryana and UP, they produce a lot of 1509, which was selling, you say, three days ago at 37 rupees. Now it is selling at 34. With the, just this MEP, we cannot book orders, we cannot export at 1200. Uh, government has... a uh, only uh, uh, agreed to this thing, they will consider the previous sure. orders on the basis of uh, sporting documents. Yeah. And yeah. that is still uh, not a confirmed thing that okay. they will permit our 
uh, previous orders also. Okay. So Mr. Sethi, I get your point. What you're saying? Yeah, I get your point, sir. What you're saying uh, is I'm that it makes more here. sense to control parboiled rice and uh, perhaps not basmati yes. rice. I get your point, and the government you are saying is only considering it. Harish, uh, your yes. thoughts? Uh, cereals, rice inflation, just one part. But more generally, uh, as you pointed out, you're worried about Rabi. Uh, do you think we are in for double-digit uh, food inflation uh, for the better part of uh, FY24? I, I hope not. You know, I, yes, I hope the monsoon revives. You know, everything depends on... Uh, see, see, you need winter rains not only for providing water and moisture to the Rabi crop. You need winter rains also to bring down temperatures. You know, your temperatures come down when there is rain. You know, so I, I definitely wouldn't, I mean, I would be very scared if we have a very dry kind of a winter, you know, and and with very little reserves, you know, whether it is in the aquifers or whether it is in the reservoirs, you know. So I think government will have to very carefully manage the stocks and the supply situation. And I totally agree with, 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 uh, with, with Vijayji that, uh, you know, the, uh, if you want to ban or you want to stop, I think you should stop uh, non basmati rice you know and don't and don't stop basmati you know so so maybe have a you know a uniform minimum export price of say 800 dollars so you don't allow any rice whether it is basmati non basmati say below this price you know something oh. of this kind i think would be required you know we need to somehow so i think in the case of rice we need to you know definitely regulate exports ensure that our basmati exports are project are our exports of basmati and premium uh, rice are protected. And in the case of wheat, I think probably we may have to import some rice, some wheat from, uh, from, from Russia. So mm -hmm. if the crop doesn't turn out to be good, as I said, you know, I'm more concerned about the Ravi crop. If that doesn't turn out good, you know, then we need to be a little, we need to be a little proactive in supply side management. So in, so, in the case of rice, it would be uh, yeah, by I regulating it. A high cereals. So, so you're, very quickly, since we're out of time, a high cereals uh, inflation is not a given. You think uh, we could still have probably Western disturbances and uh, you know factors other than the El Nino that might still rescue our rabi. Is that right, Harish? Yeah, yeah. That's what happened in July. I mean, on, in, in retrospect, I think July was an aberration. You know. Okay. This is a this is a this is an El Nino year, you know. So probably this August was the normal, you know. So July yes. we were very lucky, but that helped us basically increase our sowing, you know. So the sowing mm. area went up. But uh, you know, when you have dry weather, like 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 we have even reports on soya bean, you know. Even soya bean, there's a lot of stress in water, you know. Uh, uh, especially at this stage, you know, when when you are entering pod filling, you know, this stage. You need water, you know. So, so, so I think the IMD is talking of some kind of a revival of monsoon rains. I think in the next one week. So, even if we have one round of showers, you know, in in September, I think you know your your Kharif uh, uh, is through, you know. And and, okay. and and as I said, you know, if you have a ten percent shortfall in 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 rice production, you can ensure that you know that is compensated through a ten percent reduction in exports. Which you can do through sensible uh, uh, export policy, which is basically having a uniform minimum export price. You know, so I think okay. th 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 there will be a lot of deaf supply management which is required in the next few months. You know, and okay. definitely till the election. I'm sure. Uh, you know, because as you know, the elections are in April, uh, yeah. in in April May, and that's the time of the ruby harvest. You know, so I'm sure the government wouldn't want to be wrong-footed precisely during that period, right? Okay. I'm running your table as you speak. Uh, you know, in the 13-14 period, the UPA lost. And as you can see, one big factor could be the very high food price inflation. 18-19, the ruling NDA returns with a huge majority. Food prices are very low and that could definitely have been a factor. Now we are starting with 11 and a half in July. The government would be for it. Uh, that's the point Harish was making. Thank you very much, Harish Dabodran and Vijay Setia. Out of time, but uh, this conversation, of course, will carry on after the September rains as well. We hope they are good as we start the festive season. Wrap up and Bazaar Chatpasta's up next.